The title for today is the word turns. The book says measuring turns, whatever turns. But there's some things you must understand to understand today's problems. First of all, you must know your directions. And if you don't, I'll write them out for you here. Generally speaking, they look like this. North, south. That's fine. North and south, east and west. Never eat south waffles, whatever that could be. Okay, you need to know that. You need to know that when you turn something this way, it's clockwise, like the clock goes. If you spin it the other way and it goes like this, like backwards time, that is counterclockwise. Maybe not know that. You need to know that in a circle, there are 360 degrees, which means every turn, if you make a quarter of a turn, that's 90 degrees, which is the same with the little compass thing there. If you are facing north <coughs> and you make a 90 degree turn counterclockwise, facing north, make a 90 degree turn counterclockwise, you are now facing west. What's that? Well, you, you do, do. This is real life stuff. This shouldn't be hard. By the way, speaking of directions, who can point to me which way is south right now? Which way would be south? No, it's not up or down. That's not north, and this isn't south. I'm like this. You have to think it's either one of those directions that way. Which way is south, Bailey Lankin? Um, Ooh. That way. Which way pointing? That way. Exactly. That way is south. Going on Route 47 going to Morris is south, Route 47 going to Cross is north. Okay, if you're heading out that way, going to Taylor's house, you'd have to go to the west. Okay, going oh, yeah. east, going to the big ocean. What big ocean's on our east side? Atlantic. Atlantic is over there, Pacific's over there, Gulf of Mexico. Where's the Arctic at? I don't know. Okay, so here's a question. Oh, and the other thing, draw in big letters here. You definitely need to sketch these out. Okay, you definitely need to sketch this out. Don't try to do it in your head here. Uh, for example, uh, here's a question. Bill was traveling north. Bill was traveling north, period. Uh, he turned 90 degrees, 90 degrees left. I guess we should have gone over left and right, obviously. Left is your left side and right is your right side. Some people, and I still have eighth graders that do this, do the old hand trick, where if you hold up your hands, this makes the L, so that's your left, and the other one's the right. It's a little distracting in basketball when we have to figure that out. Uh, to the left and traveled one block. Went to the left and traveled one block. At the intersection, At the intersection, comma, he turned 90 degrees to the left. He turned 90 degrees to the left. What direction was he now traveling? Is he now traveling? So again, you definitely need to sketch this out because there's a lot of different directions you're given. It's just a matter of 
drawing it out on your paper so that you keep them all straight. So here is the general gist. What can't you read there, Sam? What? What? Oh, I was going to tell you the answer. I don't have to answer yet. We only got one close to the answer. Again, and generally speaking, when you draw it on paper, north is just up, even though that's not in reality. I mean, when I say go north, it doesn't mean to go up. But on paper, when we do it, okay, we are facing north. So you could label that. He is facing north. Okay, he turned 90 degrees left, which means this way. Turn 90 degrees left. So now he's facing what direction? West. And he traveled one block. One block. So he's now right here. Actually, he didn't really travel up there. Uh, at that intersection, he turned 90 degrees left again. So then you kind of got to place yourself looking to the west and go one, one 90 degree turn to the left again. So that puts you going this way, which happens to be in the direction of south. So what direction are you traveling? South. So you're going to have some uh, different things there. Um, look at, yeah, I guess we have to talk about this one. Look at page 466 in your books, please. Now don't, don't close your notes yet, because we still have to take one more note. This next one will go on the note thing here. Elizabeth ran around. The park. And made six turns to the left. Because this one will come up a lot, so you might as well get used to it here. Okay. Here's this dear, dear Elizabeth. She's running around the park. And not always do you run in a circle. Sometimes it's in this little thing. If she makes six turns to the left to get back where she started from, that means the little shape is going to have six sides. In other words, here's what it's going to be. Okay, here's Elizabeth. She starts here. Boom. She makes a turn to the left. One turn. She goes a little bit. Turns to the left again. What's that? One turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns, and then she turns back the way she's going. If she makes six turns, she's now made a hexagonal shape. Just know however many turns it is is how many sides it is. And the question they ask you is, how many degrees has she turned? Well, what was the average of her degree turns? In other words, she was going straight here, but now she turns X amount of degrees that way. She was going straight here, but then she turned that many degrees that way. She was going straight here, she turned that many degrees there. She was going straight, she turned that way through there. And she was going straight, she turned that many degrees there. She was going straight. She made a total of six turns. That's six turns. By the way, those turns are actually called exterior angles. And the one important thing that you need to know is that in any shape, in any shape, any polygon, the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. 360 degrees. Anytime you have an X, a shape, and, a, and one that we could prove that with would be if I have a rectangle and you would go straight and turn here, a rectangle go straight, turn here, a rectangle go straight, turn here, a rectangle straight, turn here. What are each of these angles? Every one of them is a right angle, right? Because <coughs> all right. So if you have four 90 degree angles, how many degrees have you turned? So just take my word for it. So in other words, this gal turned 360 degrees 
How many turns did she make? Six. So the average she had to turn was 60 degrees for every turn. Okay. If she would have made eight turns, if she'd be running around an octagonal track, that means she would have made eight turns that look like this. It would still be 360 divided by eight, which is what? Uh, what, four? 45. Every turn would be 45. They will ask you questions, so please don't say, we never talked about this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.